Yeah, hey, Maya, congrats on the, on the win today. Uh, I wondered, Coach O, yo, uh, in January said a kind of funny quote, you know, that, that Ole Miss was going to come back here and, and win in Starkville. Did you guys kind of remember that and maybe use that extra motivation? Um, yes, sir, we definitely remembered it. Definitely. How did it make you guys feel? <laughs> um, I just think it fueled us. Um, everything right now, we try to take everything and we turn it into positive things and we use it as fuel. And I think that's what we did out there tonight. I'm proud of you of, of this team. I think, what, six players the last six minutes of this game and, and all five, nine or shorter. And, and yet you still battled out there. How, how kind of proud of this group that stuck together in that moment? No, extremely proud. Um, extremely, extremely proud. We all fought the entire game. Uh, we encourage each other throughout the entire game. Um, Charlie, of course, is our tallest player, and we just continue just building confidence in her. And I think that as far as the coaches and our, my teammates, I think we did a great job with just encouraging her um, and letting her stay confident, things like that, because we knew that she was going to have to have a big game for us. And I really think that she did. Uh, she came out, had some really big rebounds for us. Um, and I just think we executed really well. But very proud of this team. Uh, we, we work hard for this. A lot of people have counted us out. But we just keep fighting and just keep using it as fuel. Stefan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, coming into this matchup, everyone knew the, the size mismatch that they had. And it kind of seems like you were able to get their forwards, you know, players like Shakira Austin out there and kind of use your guys' speed and athleticism to kind of blow by them and, and get creative angles. I mean, well, was that something you guys uh, maybe noticed late in that game against Ole Miss the first time around that, that you felt you could use to your advantage here? Um, oh, definitely. We uh, worked a lot on the press. Um, start off last game, we turned the ball over uh, a lot just starting up the game. And I think that that fueled them. But we just made sure we take care of the ball on that end. And then I think um, just as far as packing it in, we knew that we were going to have to – we probably, we can't out-jump them. I mean, we're, they're just so much taller than us. But just boxing out, getting into their body and driving back and things like that. So um, it was a heck of a scout by our coaches, um, our, my teammates. We executed it, and I just think it just showed. I know you, you talked last game about just, you know, taking things one day at a time. But, you know, this serves as a, as a quadrant one win for you guys. And – you guys are, are still in those tournament conversations. I mean, how exciting is it for you guys at, at this point of the season, you know, with all the obstacles you've overcome to, to be in this conversation, to have a chance to, you know, be playing for something here in mid-February? Um, I think everybody here has one goal, and that's to win. Um, and I just think that everybody just pouring in just so much as far as energy and just everything. It's, it's, it's really special to see, and I think a lot of people are noticing that now. And like I said, no matter what circumstance we go through, we never use it as an excuse. I feel like that that will only set us back. Instead, we use it as fuel. We get to work each and every day, and we just come out and try to display it. Robbie, go ahead. My, I know you're not always looking uh, to be aggressive offensively as far as shooting the ball, but today you got to the hoop and had some pretty good finishes inside and then two really big three-point shots too. What was kind of your mindset offensively today to come in there and score 17 and, and be really efficient doing it too? Um, I just think that um, I just stayed within myself. I didn't try to do anything that I knew I couldn't do. And I know my teammates have a lot of confidence in me with shooting the ball. And so I just think that um, I just tried to step up to the plate when it was needed. Um, I mean, my role is to kind of play defense, distribute, but to just step up. And I just think I, I did that today. And But just kudos to my teammates for putting me in those positions and just um, being confident in me. John, go ahead. Maya, kind of going back to what you mentioned at the beginning about, you know, Yo's comments and, and just that game. But going back to that game, considering what happened there and, you know, what happened today, how good did it feel to be able to kind of get your revenge on, uh, on Ole Miss and, and get it done in the fashion that you guys did? Um, I think that everybody remembered, I guess, the feeling of that Ole Miss game. It didn't feel good. Nothing about it felt good. Nothing about the trip felt good. Um, and I just think that just remembering that, try to, I mean, I guess I have a short-term memory, but also just to just move forward. And I just think right now we're, we're on a roll. We're playing really good together. Um, we're putting in the work. So, um, I mean, it's just, it's exciting. I'm, I'm very excited for my teammates and I and the coaches. Sure. And, um, I mean, you're talking about how well you guys are playing as of right now, and you look at Anastasia, hey, she's been a big part of that as well. How have you kind of seen her game grow, like, within within your team and, you know, behind closed doors? Right. She's so talented. She's very talented, actually. And I just think that um, she plays so well within the offense as well. 
um, everything that she she does in practice, she do it hard. And I just think it's just so special to see it in practice and then see that same thing in the game. It's, it's not surprising to us at all. Uh, she's a heck of a player for us. She's um, scored a lot of points for us each and every game. She steps up each and every game. And so, um, and I think everybody sees that. She's just a hard worker. Um, she's very confident, but she can also distribute as well. So she's a she's just a great piece for us. We'll go to Stefan, then we'll wrap things up with Robbie. Yeah, kind of along those same lines, uh, Ja'Kayla Jordan got going early today and, and kind of helped you guys out, um, you know, on the offensive end a ton. Uh, what, what has it kind of been like, you know, playing alongside her this season and seeing her get going in games like this? Yeah, Jark was very clutch for us. Very, very clutch. She always um, shows up when we need her. Um, she just plays so hard and she's one of our bigger guards. So she knows that she has to be a little um, extra physical for us. But I just think that uh, just continue to talk to her. She's very young, very talented, very athletic. And I just think that with her staying confident in her game, uh, playing within our system and things like that, I just think that the ceiling, there's just no, it's no limit for her. She's a great player. Yeah. And obviously coming into this season, you know, Doug talked a lot about how important it was going to be for him kind of building relationships with you guys, especially because, you know, he was so new when, when he took over as, as head coach. I mean, what, what's it been like the past few months kind of developing a relationship with him? And, and do you feel like now that you guys are getting to know him a little better, it's translating to some of the success you guys are having? Oh, definitely. It, um, we knew we know how he is as a coach. Uh, we know what's expected um, of us from him. And I just think that uh, we just trust in everything that he do. And um, we just try to go and execute it. So, yeah. We'll wrap things up with Robbie. Ma, you talked a little bit about the the game plan that y'all had coming in this ball game and how y'all executed that. But looking back at that game and now kind of big picture where y'all are right now, what has been the biggest difference for y'all to kind of flip a switch here? Um, y'all lost by 15 there, but it was probably worse than that today. Controlled a, a 10 point lead for most of 10, 10, 10 or more points most of the game. But, you know, the last few games, what's been the difference for y'all from that point to now? Uh, we just know a lot of people, we know a lot of people have just been counting us out. And I just think that um, we kind of just been sticking together, playing as one. Um, it's just so much positivity around this team right now. It's, everything is going really good, and we're just going to keep using that as fuel to keep on rolling.